Well, it's fossil Mondays. We're going on adventure. We're going on adventure. <laughs> so, Meg's come to pick me up, and we get. She's chose this one. All I did was just agreed that that place looked like a good spot. So, if it's a no, if there's no fossils there, we blame Meg. Okay. Well, we blame Meg for everything anyway. So, just something else we can blame Meg for. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're uh, we're jumping in the car now. We're gonna head there. It takes us about an hour. So I shall see you in an hour or a second for you. So, so we've arrived. Fossil Monday. We're out on an adventure, and we've got to give her a little bit of a brownie point because we actually it's the first time I've gone to a place for the first time, and I'm actually not got lost. So. I'm gonna show you where we go. So it's um, oh, it's west, western on seven. Blocking the camera. So it's western on seven. <coughs> there's um, <coughs> you drive all the way down this road, and it literally there's two car park spaces. So you've got to hope that it, you've got room. So or you've got to park all the way up at the top and walk down. There's actually a portal up there as well. So that's handy. So you can use Meg managed to use the toilet, so we didn't have to do anything silly. Um, but yeah, we, so we've um, literally all we've got to do is walk down here now. We've got this cracking view for us. And literally, we've got to go that way, down the river. So uh, we'll jump on that now. Um, we'll, have some, we'll have some fossils. Look at this place, man. It is stunning. Absolutely amazing. Meg's playing in the mud. Look at this. It's absolutely. This is my main aim in life: to come out fossil hunting and just have these these memories and experiences and stuff like that. It's it just makes my everything worthwhile. All the stress of the week just washes away, and I get back to being me. What are you playing in the mud for? She can't wash. She can't make her way to the water because it's too muddy to wash her hands. Been playing in the mud, and she can't get down there to wash her hands. I think there's some there's some tissue in my bag you'll have to use. Look at the state of it. See, I ain't gone down there because I'm not silly, and I weigh probably twice as much as Meg. Look at the state of it. <laughs> I don't know. So remember, it's our first time here. So the main aim for today is to find a fossil. Find where they're coming from, so then maybe we can look back over time. We can see you've got all the different different lines in the rocks, different bits of periods, different ages. Um, so we've got to figure out where the fossils are. It looks like someone's been here doing work. So you don't chisel the rock, because this is a special spot. You don't do any of the chiseling on the rocks. And remember, all we leave here is footprints. Okay? So there's no rubbish. There's nothing like that. We don't take, we take everything with us. All we leave is footprints. I like that saying now. So I'm going to give me my, my saying. My dad came up with it. So all we leave is footprints, okay? Look how blue these rocks are. Proper like a, um, it's hard to, I don't know if the camera's picking up, but it's really like an aqua blue. Compared to like, all this stuff up here, it's a bit more blue as well. <laughs> So you've got millions and millions of years of layers going up as we go. Millions and millions and millions and millions of well, The older it is, it is down here. So it's the oldest, this is the oldest bit. And it gets younger as it goes up. If I'm right, fingers crossed. <laughs> so if I remember right, this is the older stuff. Younger stuff as we go up. And this is all different ages and different times. So this because I'm not sure if these could be patches of ice age. Or it could be different times where there was, I don't know, maybe different material got laid down and so on and so forth. Different time periods. So, we try our best. We don't know everything, but we know a little. So I try to share what I can. No, this place is actually extremely dangerous. So, I've never been to a place where the wall has been so delicate. Literally, a big slough has just come off right next to us. So you need to be very careful. I mean, literally. Look, I mean, it's literally 
you could just just the tiniest touch and it's just fall into bits so you do not bang on this cliff you bang on this cliff and it is going to all come down so please do not touch the cliff because i don't want anybody getting hurt for going somewhere that i've showed you so do not touch the cliff at all it is extremely dangerous so me and meg are going to keep at least a two meter wall now away from the wall so if anything sloughs off we're safe okay so please stay away from the wall Started off over there, we're coming round now, just coming round the bend. We're getting a bit more rocky in places, we're getting a bit more to the colours that we've seen at the other places where we've been finding fossils. So, we haven't seen anything yet, but we're not 100% what we're looking for at the moment. So, uh, fingers crossed, this is really cool, this is. So, uh, hopefully we'll start seeing some stuff, we'll get an idea what we're looking for, and then we can start finding some fossils. I mean, the cliff is really high up here. It's a bit better because it's a bit more staggered back away from us. But still very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. But you can see we're, we're very far away from the cliff, so we're nice and safe. Um, so we're going to have a stroll down now, see what we can find. And then, uh, yeah, fingers crossed, as soon as we find a fossil or we get an idea what we're going to be doing, we shall let you know. But yeah, it's looking like we've got an amazing day for it. The fossil gods would shine down on us. Look at the blue sky above me. You couldn't be any better. So, told you, fossil gods are the way forward. First little fossil of the day. Little tiny shell thing by the looks of it. We're a bit on the ground at the moment. Remember, it's our first day here, so we're not 100% what we're looking for. Because each place, you get they're in different spots and different stuff. There's loads of bolts everywhere. It's the second bolt I found. This is a small one. We found one. It's about a foot long. Tons of bolts. Loads of bolts. So, what we end up doing, we put them on top of rocks. And when we come back, we pick them up and throw them in the bin. Because we always clean up. We try and clean up as we can. Stuff like this metal we can pick up and we know no one's touched it in a load of, a load of times because at the moment we can't pick up the rubbish because we don't know if it's got coronavirus on it but at the moment just in case we can take this because no one's touched this in about you know, about 100 years I'd say so uh, yep this, we're, we're, I'm going to put this on the rock as well because that's a heavy rock and I don't really want to be carrying it so we'll, we'll pick this up on the way back and take that with us I found a fossil fish oh. see fossil fish Yep, that's how uh, that's how much we're struggling today. I'm making up fossils, but it looks like a fish, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, we're having a hard day today. We'll find some by the end, hopefully. So we've come up now. So we've gone right up to where the rocky area is because we've got more chance of finding the fossils in the big rocks. So you can see we've come all the way from down there now, walked all the way up here, and. Um, so we're just looking for the big rocks. There's lots of um, pyrites and stuff like that. It's like fool's gold. So um, as soon as we start finding some more reasonable sized bits of bone and stuff like that, we'll show you. And if any little tips and tricks we've got, we'll show you as well. Well, by the looks of this, someone found themselves a fossil. And they've come and cut it out the rock. This is a massive bit of rock as well. They must have come down here with an angle grinder and done that. Make some proper work they've put into that to get that aid. Hopefully we find something that big. Been round and what we've been doing is we're finding the big bits where oh, he fell over. Where all these people have been and some the, all this is all sloughed off and they've been hitting round all the rocks they have. So we've just been scrounging through, finding bits they've missed. And uh, I've just found this nice bit down here. Didn't you smash up my rock? I'm not smashing it, I'm going to get the... So this here, this is a bit I've found. So I'll be getting a lot of the rock off so I can take it with me. So we've got some bone there, bone there. Bone here, bone there. Got a nice bit of bone here. It's what Meg was banging on, I had to tell her to stop. <laughs> um, got nice bits of... Uh, Fool's gold. That's cool, and that's pyrite. Um, and we've got some other bits. There's a big bit of bone there, and there's another bit of bone there. 
So we're not doing too bad. We're finding nice bits of bone. So the main thing is we want to get some teeth. We want to try and find some teeth. So we're going to have a wander up the beach now, see if we can find any more spots where bits have sloughed off like that. So we're about halfway through the day now. It's nice quieting down a bit. The uh, gentleman we met gave us some uh, little ideas of where to look. I think we knew a little bit more than he did, to be honest. But uh, we've literally, I think we've just found some big bits of bone in the rock. So I'll show you when we have a look. See all this here? Big bits of bone in the rock, it could be. Looks like it's almost, looks, yeah, it definitely looks like a bit of bone to me. You've got it all over here as well. It's a bone in the rock. Too big, I think that's a little bit big for me to carry home. I really do. That's probably bigger than me. So, especially this one, this probably weighs as much as Meg's car. So, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to carry that back. But yeah, you've got the cliff, the overhangs and all stuff like that. So it's a bit safer here because there's actually roots and that holding the cliff back. But still, we're not doing anything near the cliff. We're just having a look around. So we'll have a look, show you what I've got so far. So I've got some stuff in my bag. I did find a big bit of what we think might be bone. So I've got this here. Looks like a big bit of bone. That's quite cool. Um, got this bit here with some bone on. Um, I've got this piece here with that on, all these little bits and bobs. Uh, I found this as well. It's a very weird rock. It's definitely got some fossils in it, but it's a bit peculiar. Um, I've got this one. This one's got bits of tooth in it, and all stuff like that, so that'd be nice to work on. And then we've just got a bolt I'm cleaning up off the beach. So, uh, yeah, we'll crack on, find some more stuff, and I've got some nice bits of, uh, uh, what's it called, fool's gold in my bag. There you go, I've just found this. Ugh. This is what dinosaurs used to build their houses out of. Ancient, ancient, million-year-old bricks. And it definitely what dinosaurs used to build their houses out of. It's not random rubbish that us humans have left. It's definitely got to be what dinosaurs used to build their houses out of. <laughs> you can tell we're getting a bit a bit bored today, trying to find stuff. Oh, but we're, we're doing our best, doing our best. Well, I'm right by the water now I am. Just having a little rummage. Meg's up there having a break, having a sambo. But yeah, nice little day today, plodding along. Just nice to get out of the shop, to be honest. Have a bit of a laugh and a joke, playing in the mud. But yeah, we've got a... Nice little bits going on. So see if there's anything down by the water instead of being up by the cliff. It's hard because everything's a bit more muddy. So I can't see any, I haven't seen any fossils down here. There's a lot of the pyrite, but I haven't seen any of the little fossils yet. So if I see any fossils or any bone or anything like that, I shall let you know. But it is very hard to find stuff at this location. Um, but yeah, as soon as we find some more stuff, I'll let you know. But it's a lovely, lovely spot. Absolutely spectacular. Some crystals, are you, Meg? Chisling them off with a knife, are you? Whoa. She climbs back up. Check on Meg, see what she's doing. Show us what you're doing then, Meg. She's trying to get a little bit of pie right out, she's got there. And, and then... Some, like, some sheets of crystal, but they just keep breaking. And it's delicate. Oh, that's a nice piece, though. It's all right, isn't it? Got some of it. I'm trying to get some of the crystals out the rock. Yeah. See, this is what we're looking for, little bits of rock. It's got all these little black bits in. Because all these little black bits are bits of bone and teeth and stuff like that. Mm. So, it's hard because everything, as soon as it just wants to, the rock doesn't want to be, the, the bone doesn't want to be in the rock. So as soon as it gets tapped or exposed or something like that, it just falls to bits, so. We're trying our best, but everything, anything that's not exposed, we can't expose it more because it just falls apart. So we're looking for something that's magically exposed in the perfect position for us to find it. So it's kind of hard for us to do it, especially as we've only got this little strip about that bit of beach there up to here. There's not much to go through. There's not much sloughed off. Literally, we're on the wrong, we're on the one little pile of rocks. And you go all the way down there, there's none. 
I bet there's some on the beach, but it's all covered in mud and stuff like that, and you can't see anything. So we're up on this little bank. So we're not on the cliff. The cliff is over here. There's the cliff over there. So we are, I'd say, four metres away from the cliff on a little muddy bank from the shore. So nowhere near the cliff. This is stuff that's fell off the cliff and fell away from it. So here's some more of the, the crystals Meg's trying to get off. It's hard to get it to glint in the sun. But uh, it's little sheets of crystals, which is strange. I think she wants to get a nice chunky one. But it's hard because it's all little tiny sheets. But if we find anything good, we shall show you. And we've got a nice little spider. Living his good life. So, uh, yeah, we'll crack on. If we find anything else good, we'll show you. And explain where we're finding the fossils at this site. So, this here, these two rocks were one rock that's fell and split and slid off. So, there is another layer which is on here. So, that layer, uh, have we got anything here? Where's the layer? Where's the layer? Uh, no. Ah, here it is. So, this is the top, top layer. This is river bottom, you can see. So, this would have been on top of that one. So, this would have been on top of here. This would have been on top of that. And that is the layer that's got the fossils in. So I can show you on this one rock here. <coughs> so this here is the top rock that slid off one of these. And um, if we lift it up, we can start to see the layers we're looking for. So this layer here with all them black dots, that's what we're looking for. That's the bone and teeth layer. So you got, you got the fin layer there, that's got nothing in. We want this top layer which has got the fossils in. And as it goes on, you've got different bits. I've got thicker layers of the fossil. So that's why it's hard to find anything which is exposed. Because if it is, it would be sticking out out the top of here and into the bottom. So if I lift this up, oh. <sighs> You can see all the different layers, and it's literally that top inch that's got the fossils in, on this type of rock. So, that's the problem we're dealing with at the moment. But, uh, I can show you some more of the fossils we've been finding. Oh, where's I put my fossils? There they are. So, we've got some more pyrite. Um... these ones ah oh, there it is so you've got that bit of bone on there we've got um, of course I put it in there and forgets where, where the fossil is it's like a nice crystal in place isn't it? Um, I can't I'm not sure where that one is um, this one we've got a nice bit there um, That might be it on that one. Um, well, there we go. It's a nice bit of bone on there. Nice bit of bone. That would have been a huge piece of bone, that would have been. Um, what else have we got in my little box? That we haven't looked at yet. And I've got that nice piece there. Um, got another piece of pyrite. Listens like gold, it does. Falls gold, that's what they call it. And then... I think we've seen everybody else at the moment. Yeah, we've got the, we've seen them ones. So, uh, oh, Meg's got something. I don't know what that is. Looks like a whole bit of bone, that does, completely out the rock. Is it? Could be, because it's all porous. Mmm, mm, very cool. So, we're going to go through and put these back in here now. Oh, I can see these as well. These are the better finds of the day. So we've got a nice big bit of bone in there. We've got a nice big chunky pyrite. And then this is the big one that I'll be carrying home today. With all the fossils in. 
So we're coming home with one big piece at least. And then, uh, see this is the bit, it's all got the little little bones in and stuff like that. You can see there's a bit of fossil in that one. So we'll keep that. But yeah, it's very hard to find anything. So this, if I move this out of the way. This is the, the, where I showed you that texture at the top. As I said, if there's big stuff in there, it's going to be poking out the top of it, which it is. So, uh, if, we, if there was any big stuff on that bits we were looking at, we would know because we'd be able to see the bits. So we've got them all on our little rock now, so this is all the stuff we're taking home, everything else around it we know we can leave. And, uh, yep, yeah, so I think we're going to have a drink, have ten minutes chill. I mean, we couldn't be chilling in a nicer place, could we? I mean, really. So... Well, we crack on, have another little wander around, and we'll probably call it the end of the day soon. So I think we've gone as far as we can go this way. You can see where I've, literally, it's that muddy, it's ridiculous. I mean, so, I mean, I barely even moved, I just slid, just slid a metre. So, <laughs> I'll be very careful what we're doing, because we're just surrounded by mud now. So I think we should head back that way go back through some of the places we've looked through and uh... <laughs> come on Meg, you can do it come on Meg you can make it, come on Lily oh, I was hoping she'd fall over <laughs> to be fair no Look one's fallen over yet <laughs> but yeah you can see it is a right mess it is today so, uh, yeah, we're going to turn around, head back that way, and go back through some of those lots. But I think when it's a little bit less muddy, there's another bit down there we can go and have a look at, but we just can't make it. So we're going to head right, turn around, head back, go find some, some stuff over there. Ready? Didn't expect to find that today. It's a nice little shell fossil. Oh, slightly different material as well. So we might be able to look through some of the other materials and find some other fossils. So I'll show Meg, we'll do some investigations and see if we can find any other fossils in this material now. Because it's a completely different material than what we've been looking in. So we'll have a look now and see if we can find some more of these. Oh my God, what have I got in my hand? Oh my God, what have I got in my hand? Oh my God, I've only gone and done it. Look what I've got, look what I've got. It's a proper bone, it's a proper bone, fully exposed. Oh my God, oh my God, look at it. It is amazing. Oh my God, I've nearly wet me pants. Oh my God, yes! Ah! Found it! <laughs> oh, literally, it was... I'll put it back where it was so you can see. It was like that, and literally I've gone... Oh, 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 oh. Look at it! So now I am going to go through a tooth po tooth bone? Through a toothpick through this area now and see if I can find any more of this bone. That's it, go through it with a fine tooth comb. That's it. And then we're going to find ourselves some more of this oh my god oh my god oh my god and meg's found a bit as well hey. nice big bit of bone for old meggy not, not as nice as mine no mine's a little bit better preserved but uh it's definitely bone definitely fossilized <laughs> so i am over the moon we're over the moon <laughs> Woo! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Calling it a day, finally finished. I got me bone. Ooh. So yep, cracking cracking day today over the moon with what we found. But literally we just we just wanted to find the, any fossils to have an idea where they were to come back. But uh, it's very thin on the ground here, you've got to know what you're looking for. And um, you've got to go to the right spots. You want to find these big sheets like this, go through all the little bits around it, and you'll find all the bits with the little bits of bone and stuff, and then you can work out from there. And then um, you want to look for some of the some of the darker orangey rocks as well, because some of them have got all the other stones in as well, like this. This is where this was in the orangey, softer rocks. That's why it's not got any rock on it. 
But I mean, look at that. Proper, proper. Looks almost like the teeth. I've got it home, some of them. So I'm well happy with that. Well happy with that. It's doing really well today, don't we, Meg? Whoa. So, yeah, we're going to head back now. We'll uh, give you some clips on the way back. But I think that's going to be it for today. We're out of the rocky, muddy area now. And I didn't slip over and smash my face in. Woo. Brownie point for me. So, uh, yeah, we're on the... On the hard stuff now, it's a bit more drier over here. See, so we're back on the beachy shore. Dangerous cliff area again, so we've got to be careful. And, uh, yep, so we're going to have a wander back now. See, that's where we were up there with all the rocks. And, uh, yep, we've got a nice stroll back now. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll show you some more fossils when we get back to the car. And then, uh, I think that'll be it for today. Some absolutely crazy person has been chiseling on the cliff. Look at it. They must be absolutely mental. I would never even touch that cliff, let alone hammer on it. Christ's sake, they must be do lally tap. I mean, I'm moving away from it now. I'm getting scared. Look at it. <coughs> you fart and it falls down. Made it back. Happy days, all in one piece. Alex didn't fall over, so we're okay. But yeah, we had a really nice day. Lovely little, lovely little walk. Just, just amazing little day. Risk to restart the week. Fresh Alex next week now. Oh, I just love getting out and about. I really do. So, uh, maybe a couple more weeks. We're going on another adventure somewhere. But, uh, it does knacker us out. So we can't do it every Monday because it just kills us. But we have to do it every so often because of the fossil gods. We made it back. We're alive. Meg's a good driver, she got us home safe. But yeah, we got everything laid out on the table. Since we was having a slow day, I think we did okay. Definitely brought half the place back. <laughs> you know what I'm like. And yes, the big rock is mine. You know what I'm like. I've got to take the biggest rock home. So, don't know what I'm catering for, but I'm making up for, but don't know why I've got to bring the biggest rock home every time. But we've got some lovely fossils, so we're going to go through them now. I think... Meg's won with the pyrite and the fool's gold. She's got some cracking fool's gold. Uh, and I think I've won with the fossils because I've got some bigger stuff and I found the bone. So, 50-50 uh, win today. So that's good. I like that. So, uh, we'll have a rummage through. Tell you who's is who's. We'll probably do Meg's first. You know, ladies first and that. So, we go through Meg's first and we go through mine afterwards. So, this is Meg's little bunch. So, uh, do you want to do you want to tell them about it, Meg? Or are you going to carry on playing with my rabbit? <laughs> She's not interested in the fossils anymore. She spotted a rabbit. That's it now. So cute. I can't tell you his name because his one bit of his name is a little bit of a swear word. But it's fluffy male parts. So, fluffy testicles we call him, but a different word. <laughs> yeah, my mum calls him that. <laughs> supposed to be marshmallow his name is, but he gets called fluffy nuts all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go for them all. So uh, what do you what do you want to look at first, Meg? Uh, we got this one. We just got some shells in there. Okay. So let's see if I can get those out. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, or at least expose them some more, innit? In there as well. That's definitely something there, isn't it? Yeah. And then I like this piece just because it was sparkly. No, oh, nice and shiny. Yeah, in in the yeah. sun it really does shine. Wait, if I turn the if I turn the old torch on, and that made absolutely no difference at all. <laughs> So we tried, at least we tried. I've got this one here, which has got some interesting stuff going on in there. I think so, that's more fool's gold, actually. I believe that is more fool's gold. If we oh, wet it. it. Yeah, it is. Nice and shiny, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. definitely fool's gold. Uh, and then we've got this one, which has got loads of little tiny fossils in there. Yeah, little tiny little bits of teeth and, and stuff. Some bits of crystal as well up here. Oh, yeah. Which is hard to see, not in the sun. And then we've got... Some bits of bone. Mm -hmm. There and there. That, that looks like quite a cool piece. Oh, that's that one bit I got out for you, didn't I? Yeah, I got that one. We've got that's another bit there, one. fossil out. I, Meg was struggling a bit, so I tapped it out for her. <laughs> uh, these are some lovely bits of crystal you've got, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we didn't couldn't figure out what this is. I don't have a clue. It looks like a peanut. <laughs> it looks like a peanut. 
or a bit of bone, or we can't figure out what it is. Anyone in the comments know what that is? Please yeah. tell me. Yeah, cause... please tell Meg. <laughs> Because she doesn't got, we hasn't got I'd a clue. Love to know. If we think this is Meg's bit of bone, big bit of bone we found. Mm -hmm. Not as clean as mine, but right. looks like it's doing. <laughs> looks like it's doing okay. Mock my bone. <laughs> got some. Some more. Some cool looking stuff in here. There's all sorts going on. Con con concretion. Yeah. It's all crapping together. Loads of stuff in there. Uh, there's some crystal on there. Yeah. Oh, look at the size of them. Yeah, and then oh my god. god. Look at the crystals on that false gold. That one's the best piece, I think. Yeah, hundred percent. Biggest ones, biggest ones of the day there, Mum. I mean some of them are huge that she's got these this big crystals there. of quartz. Loads of crystals on there. So that they they've changed the colour, so that's the that's the rust coming out, causing it to uh look at it all shiny. This piece is really cool. Oh that's a nice shiny piece. So you've got all shiny on the top. And then, like on the side as well, there's lots of stuff in there. Oh, that's really nice. That's really cool. And Meg found a stick. And I found a really nice stick. And she found a nice stick. <laughs> so we slide round now, and we'll have a look at my ones. <laughs> so we've got got one there, with a bit of bone in. We've got this. Just got some white crystals on, which I thought was cool. This I haven't worked out what it is yet. I'm not sure if it's one big bone or not. Mm. It looks like one bit of big, big bit of bone. I've got to clean it. I've got loads of me fool's gold. Some big bits. Some really nice pieces. I think Meg's won on them though, 100%. This is a nice bit of bone, I thought. I found. We think it's bone. We've got to do a bit more cleaning and check it all over first. But it's got this nice shape to it. Um, some more bone there. We've got some shells. That's that one shell I found. I went, didn't think we didn't expect to find it. Um, I've got some more little bits full of all the teeth and stuff. Some more there. This is a big piece of bone. I think there's another piece on this as well, if I remember right. Oh yeah, there it is. Another bit of the tooth. Um, this is some more of the shells I found towards the end. It's my little bit of fool's, fool's gold again. Let's see if I can get it in the sun for you. Look at that. Lovely bit of fool's gold. Um, got some more fool's gold on there. More on there. Got another fossil. Got a big bit of bone. And I didn't notice, but I've got an even bigger bit of bone coming down here. Um, we've got some more on this one. Don't know what that is. Um, we've got this one. So I was just showing Meg how to use the... D the uh, the tool to expose more of the fossil. I've exposed a little bit just to show her. It's another a bit of snap tooth, which is annoying, but it makes me think that there should be more teeth in it. Um, then we've got the big one, which has got some bone here. We've got bone there. We've got bone here and here and here and over here. So this is just full of bone. This is. I'm not sure what this white stuff is yet. No, nowhere else had this white patch, so I don't know what that is. Um, got another piece here, which has got a nice thin bit of bone. Uh, what's we got on this bad boy? Not a lot, not a lot. So it's probably one of the ones I picked up at the start, just because it had that little black thing in. Then we have the La Piste de la, la Resistance, Le Bone. We'll put it in the sun so you can have a good look at her. But look at that. I'm not sure how old it is. Has it got some shiny? Oh, look at it shine. That is some big crystal. Well, I don't know if you call it a crystal of quartz, would you? No, it's not quartz, is it? Um, pyrite. It's probably a crystal of pyrite. But yeah, really nice. Some big chunks. But yeah, so we'll have a, have a look at it. It looks like my fossilised teeth. Like the uh, the material, the stuff left on it, the ageing, the patina. So it looks old to me. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's old. Might be Ice Age, something like maybe an Ice Age deer or something like that. Because it looks quite big for what it is. And quite thick. I mean, the inside of the bone, it would have been a reasonably thick bone from what that is. If that's split in half, you've got the other half again. So, uh, yeah, I'm over the moon with it. Absolutely over the moon. And it goes straight in my collection. 
that's our fossil trip done for today. You've had a look at all our fossils and what we found. So we had a really good day. Enjoyed it muchly. I think it was Western on Seven, wasn't it? Yeah. Western on Seven. Um, lovely little place. Um, do your research first because you know the tides and parking and all that can be hard to find. But um, if you need any tips, just give us a message on the site and I'll, I'll tell you where to go. Um, new website as well, snakeonexotics.co.uk. Go pop on there, have a look, see what, let me know what you think. Um, and um, yeah, so if you want to watch another video, it should be there. If you want to watch a playlist, it should be up there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, it's above MegZ. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.